Hi, this is Jeff Teeter. I'm a systems engineer with the America's Partner Organization. And today I just wanted to give a quick update on the Cisco Open SDN controller, specifically around mounting devices uh, to the Open SDN controller. In the previous videos, if you've uh, gone through the NetConf uh, lab, you know that to mount a, a, like a device like a Cisco router, you need to go ahead and use a REST client like Postman to go ahead and send that configuration. So what you would normally do is uh, send a configuration like this um, via RESTConf to go ahead and identify the device. Uh, specifically you would go ahead and, and include the name, IP address of the device, what port it's listening on, and then the username and password and then you would go ahead and post that. Well that's certainly a, a doable thing. I wanted to draw attention to a really neat addition that's been added to the Cisco Open SDN controller. Let me go ahead and, and bring the SDN controller up. And what's been added is you can actually go into the inventory manager and there's now a new button that if you want to go ahead and actually mount a device uh, just go ahead and click the add device button and then basically you fill out the same information that you would in in the rest comp but it's a little bit nicer and cleaner and it seems to work uh, a little bit a little bit easier so let's go ahead and and put in uh, the uh, node ID for one of the routers that I have running iOS XRV1 go ahead and list the IP address uh, port number 830 and then the username and password on this router is just Cisco Cisco and then you just hit save and then it will go ahead and uh, mount the device it'll take just a second if you go ahead and click into it it's gonna say uh, that it's non-operational but you can go ahead and click back and you can see it's already been mounted it will go ahead and tell you what type of platform it is a serial number the management IP address and uh, what software it's running and then of course the most important thing is you can go directly to uh, the API tab and look at the mounted resources and it will actually go ahead and have uh, the API's uh, built up let's see here and it's already added so you can actually go ahead and click in um, to the API information on the iOS XRV-1 and as you can see it's already here and of course you can go ahead and, and use the information use this uh, to actually launch commands from here or you can just use it for reference uh, to find out exactly uh, what's going on uh, so let's just real quick just verify that it's working so let's go to the interface manager config uh, let's go down to um, uh, one that we've used before which is uh, the interface configurations and this obviously has all the information on that API but then you can of course go ahead and hit try it out and it'll give you the uh, information that you can use if you wanted to copy and paste it into a REST client or you can look uh, directly on here and get the information um, from the router but let's just double check and make sure that that information is correct uh, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this real quick and let's go ahead and bring up our REST client which is Postman and let's do a get and just go ahead and paste that in and we're just going to verify it send so obviously uh, it's working it's the correct information and of course we can also verify it through the REST client uh, if we wanted to, to do that to uh, just get the node list and the router should be listed and it is so I just uh, I give that update it's a really neat uh, addition to the open SDN controller and for those people that aren't as comfortable uh, with using rest clients it's it's much cleaner you just go to one pane of glass the open SDN controller hit add device and it just goes ahead and, and adds it uh, and uh, gives you all the information that you need so I would recommend that you, if you haven't looked at all the other labs in the series, go ahead and do that. And then, of course, uh, in the SDN series, there's lots of other things uh, that I think you'll find of interest. But thank you for your time, and I uh, look forward to uh, other videos in the uh, series.